Amida Dharma Essays by Ganson, John Welsh Sensei. A Giant Jigsaw Puzzle by Ganson, John Welsh Sensei. Living as an unenlightened being in samsara is like having to complete a giant jigsaw puzzle where both the pieces and the big picture or blueprint keeps changing on a daily basis. How do we solve this puzzle in the quickest, most efficient and effective way humanly possible? Based on my reading, study, research and experience, I would recommend learning from the wisest teachers and sages that you know. In my case, I've tried my best to understand with the help of Paul Roberts and Reverend Joshua Adrian Celia, the teachings of Shakyamuni, the Buddha of our age. Paul Roberts, my first teacher of Jodo Shinshu Buddhism, wrote in his book Shin Buddhism 101 about his experience as a student of Shakyamuni. Quote, Over time, as I read and contemplated, I became convinced that he was and is the unique teacher in our world. I became convinced that he was different from all the other teachers I had encountered. Jesus, Lao Tzu, Ramana Maharshi and many, many others, including all the modern teachers alive today both within Buddhism and in other schools of enlightenment. I became convinced that he was indeed the world honored one, the turner of the wheel of the Dharma. Said another way, I became convinced that he and he alone had ascended to the absolute pinnacle of the mountain of enlightenment, a metaphor I will be using again and again. Said another way, I became convinced that he is the smartest guy in the room. End quote. Pages 3 to 4. In terms of a living teacher, Reverend Joshua Adrian Celia, my teacher since January 2018, after Paul Roberts went to Amida's Pure Land, has more than fulfilled all that I could reasonably require of a teacher, even though I have, at the time of writing this essay, been unable to meet with him in person. I would encourage all sincere and ser serious students to read and or listen to his books, which can be found on Joshua's YouTube channel. The link is provided in the PDF. And his Amida G International Temple website. The link is provided in the PDF. In this dark age of Dharma decline, our minds are clouded and shrouded with evil, ignorance, folly, delusion, confusion and illusion. We stumble blindly through the maze of samsara, with no hope of escape, until Amida's great light of wisdom and compassion shines a light in our darkened minds. Master Shinran Shonen, in his hymns of the Pure Land Masters, describes succinctly and with great insight the puzzle or problem as well as its solution. Quote, Bodhisattva Nagarjuna, ten hymns based on his writings, composed by Gutoku Shinran. Our teacher, Bodhisattva Nagarjuna, abundantly praises the Pure Land in the West in such works as his commentaries on the Maha Prajna Paramita Sutra and the ten Bodhisattva stages, and urges us to practice the Nembutsu. Nagarjuna was born beneath a tree and taken and raised by a Naga king. Later, he became the son of a king in southern India, hence his name, Nagarjuna. The World Honoured One foretold that a monk named Bodhisattva Nagarjuna would appear in South India and would crush the wrong views of being and non-being. Further south, there was a great spirit king who was master of Mount Lanka, which rises from the sea. Because this king loved the Mahayana teaching, Shakyamuni Tathagata crossed the sea to his kingdom and taught the Dharma to him. On that occasion, Shakyamuni foretold that sometime after his entrance into Nirvana, Nagarjuna would appear in the world and vanquish the non-Buddhist teachings. Our teacher Bodhisattva Nagarjuna clarified the unexcelled Dharma of the Great Vehicle. Having attained the stage of joy, he wholeheartedly recommended the Nembutsu to all. Stage of joy is the stage of the truly settled. In the term joy, kangi, can means to be glanded in the body, and ji means to be gladdened in mind. To rejoice, realizing that one is assured of attaining what one shall attain, is called joy. Mahasattva Nagarjuna appeared in the world and distinguished the paths of difficult and easy practice. Thus he leads us, who are wandering in transmigration, to board the ship 
of the universal vow. Difficult, the path of sages, easy, the pure land path. People who hear and accept the words of our teacher Bodhisattva Nagarjuna should be mindful of the primal vow and say the name of Amida always. Those who quickly desire to attain the stage of non-retrogression should, with a heart of reverence, hold steadfast to and say Amida's name. The ocean of birth and death of painful existence has no bound. Only by the ship of Amida's universal vow can we, who have long been drowning, unfailingly be brought across it. The commentary on the Mahapra Mahaprajna Paramita Sutra states, The Tathagata is the supreme Dharma king, with Bodhisattvas as Dharma vassals, the person to be deeply revered as the world-honoured one. All the Bodhisattvas state, when we were in the causal stage, we passed through countless kalpas, performing the myriad good acts and practices. But the attachments of affection were extremely hard to sever, and birth and death were extremely difficult to exhaust. And only by practicing the Nimbutsu Samadhi could we eliminate the obstructions of karmic evil and gain liberation. Here ends the hymns on Bodhisattva Nagarjuna. End quote. If we are honest with ourselves, we can learn from our experiences, living as human beings on this planet at this time, as well as the knowledge, experience and insight of those, both past and present, who are wiser than us. These wiser and more compassionate beings can accurately and objectively identify and describe the problem or puzzle of suffering sentient beings in samsara, as well as the solution. This, of course, does not mean that we can use self-power practices to free ourselves from samsara and attain nirvana. The reason is that we live in the age of Mapo, or the age of Dharma decline, where self-power practices no longer work and are powerless to liberate us from unenlightened living as human beings in samsara. The following passage on page 13 from the letters of Master Renyo, Renyo Shonen Ofumi, or Gobanshu, explains and clarifies the powerlessness and futility of self-power practices as follows. Quote, A further question. I understand clearly that long ago the founder designated our tradition as the Jodo Shinshu. However, I would like to hear in detail how it is that in the teaching of our sect, although we are lay people of deep evil karma, burdened with evil acts and grave offences, we are to be born readily in the land of utmost bliss through, through the reliance on the working of Amida's vow. Answer. The import of our tradition is that when faith is decisively settled, we will unfailingly attain birth in the true and real fulfilled land. And so, if you ask what this faith is, the answer is that it is just a matter of relying single-heartedly and without any worry on Amir Tathagata, giving no thought to other Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, and entrusting ourselves steadfastly and without any double-mindedness to Amida. This we call settlement of faith. The two characters Shinjin are literary, literally read, true mind. We say true mind because the practitioner is not saved by his mistaken mind of self-power, that is, Jiriki no Kokoro, but by the right mind of other power given by the Tathagata. Further, we are not saved simply by repeating the name without any understanding of it, Hence the larger sutra teaches that we hear the name and realize faith and joy. Hearing the name is not hearing the sixth character name, Namu Amida Butsu, unreflectively. It means that when we meet a good teacher, receive his teaching and entrust ourselves, Namu, to the name, Namu Amida Butsu, Amida Buddha unfadingly saves us. This is explained in the larger sutra as realizing faith and joy. Consequently, we should understand that Namo Amida Butsu shows how he saves us. After we have come to this realization, we must bear in mind that the name we say, walking, standing, sitting and lying down, is simply an expression of gratitude for Amida Tathagata's benevolence in saving us. With this, we are to be declared other power Nembutsu practitioners who have attained faith and will be born in the land of utmost bliss. End quote. I can think of no better way to conclude this essay and with this passage from the collected works of Master Shinran Shonen. Quote, Pure Land Hymns on the Right, Semblance and Last Dharma Ages by Gotoku Zenshin. 
without entrusting themselves to the Tathagata's compassionate vow, no sentient beings of these times, the last Dharma age, and the fifth five hundred period since Shakyamuni's passing, will have a chance of parting from birth and death. Know that this period is the beginning of the last Dharma age. The aspiration for enlightenment through self-power taught in the path of sages is beyond our minds and words. We foolish beings ever sinking in transmigration, how could we awaken it? Ever sinking means constantly sinking in the great ocean of birth and death. Transmigration, wandering in the 25 forms of existence. End quote. Namo Amida Butsu.